Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Welcome to your Tech channel. If you are new here, welcome. And I am so happy to see you all once again. Today, I am going to talk about one of the most important topic, one of the another most important topic that recently a friend of mine sent me a text and he said, if you don't mind, go ahead and discuss about broadcasting. But I thought, it's not only broadcasting, what if I add more stuff beside the broadcasting? So in a computer networking, we have a broadcasting, unicasting, multicasting, and anicasting. Have you ever encountered a word by the name of anicasting? If not, that is fine. That is why I'm here. So this whole question will be answered by this click. Okay, as I mentioned it in computer networking, we have a broadcasting, multicasting, unicasting, and anicasting. And uh, let's talk about what is broadcasting. As a friend of mine requested and he said, if you don't mind and go ahead talk about a broadcasting. Uh, recently I read an article, one of the technical folks he mentioned his opinion and he had a blog and he mentioned that broadcasting is all to all. Uh, but broadcasting is as far as I know, it is from one to all. From one to all. Same as a TV channel or when we put our antenna outside and the big tower will send a signal to our uh, antenna, our TV antenna, then our TV will receive. So it's not all to all. It means our TV will does not broadcast again. In the computer networking overall, we have a two types of broadcasting. How many types of broadcasting do we have? We have a two types of broadcasting. We have a layer two broadcasting and we have a layer three broadcasting. So I'm talking about the OSI model, layer two protocol of OSI model and layer three protocol of OSI model. In layer two protocol of uh, uh, OSI model, we have this, this is called L2B, means layer two protocol of OSI model. We have, which is MAC address and MAC is 48 bits and it's exadecimal number. I don't want to talk about what is MAC address with more detail, but layer two protocol of OSI model is based on MAC address and let's call it physical address as well. So here, this is the most accurate uh, MAC address. Uh, if you notice in here, we have a 4F here, 4F here, 4F here, 4F here. If any time when you see this kind of the MAC address in your computer, mean it's bad in your network because this kind of uh, MAC address will uh, send a broadcast message to the entire network. So some of the smart devices nowadays, including a smart switch, will eliminate this kind of activity. But I have seen uh, uh, new folks who want to learn uh, like uh, ethical hacking. They are running some. Uh, they are running some script. They are running some script. I think that kind of a script is uh, it is good for the test lab. If you have a virtual machine, that is fine. But if you run this kind of uh, script in the production, it's gonna be a lot of issue. And of course, you're gonna create a big problem. It is a broadcasting. In the networking, we do not need too much broadcasting. We do have a broadcasting for some certain uh, reason, but most of the time. That is why we have a MLS, multi-layer switching. What is the purpose of multi-layer switching? To eliminate, to block this kind of loop, to eliminate or block or terminate this kind of activity in our network. That is why we have layer T switch as well. And now we have a layer three broadcasting. Layer three broadcasting, uh, are you guys familiar about the subnetting, subnetting, supernetting, so on? If you are familiar about the subnetting and supernetting and CID or so on, you probably familiar about the subnetting as well. 255.255.255.255. If you do subnetting, we have a network, violet IP address is starting, ending, and we have a range of broadcasting in here. So for example, in here, if you notice 255.255.255.255 as a LRT protocol of the broadcasting. So we are not using this kind of uh, submitting as well. In case if you apply in your network interface uh, card or in the properties of your network interface card, it is fine, but you're gonna create a problem as a broadcasting. So uh, we are trying to avoid this kind of activity. But overall, long story short, we have a two types of broadcasting in the network which is called layer two protocol and layer three protocol. Let's talk about, so here's a, a, a here's an example of broadcasting. For example, one to all, for example, one computer want to send a message, ma one computer want to send a message to the entire network. For example, computer B, C, D, E, they all will receive that message from one to all. Now we have a multicasting. Multicasting is different. Multicasting is not one to all. Multicasting, as if you look at the diagram in here, one to a specific group. 
multicasting as one to specific group. For example, you work in a chart department and there's another guy who work in accounting department, but I'm sharing an information only with you and one of the another guy work in accounting, but not with your team. So this is called the multicasting. We do have a multicasting as well in a network, in a computer networking, we have a multicasting which is called L3 or L3 uh, multicasting, which is based on IP address. The ranges start from 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. I think that 255. Did I say three time or four time? But it's three time, 255.255.255. This is the range of multicasting. We are not using in a daily basis the multicasting. Multicasting is designed for a specific, for example, for test lab, for some other stuff, for a science fiction uh, research and so on. We are using multicasting. We do have in the YDRN network, in the one network, we have a multicasting. We have, um, we do have in a local network multicasting, but we are not using all the time multicasting. But you have to get the concept of what is the purpose of multicasting. It's one to specific. It's not the all. This is called a multicasting. What is unique costing? Unique costing, uh, uh, unique costing is one to one. It's very interesting and that is why we have a layer t switch layer t switch is based on the unique costing in order to block the unique broadcasting message in the any core switch or distribution switch or access layer switch or unique costing if you look at in here we have an example of unique costing mean one to one computer a want to send the message to computer d computer a directly send the message to computer D. So in here, in the middle, we have a switch. I don't want to talk and I would, don't want to draw a switch in here. I don't want to make it confuse what is the switch. If you're not familiar about the switch, it's a network device. But the concept of unicasting is one-to-one. -one. So we do have some technology inside the network devices in order to eliminate broadcasting, unicasting, multicasting, so on. Then uh, the devices, we need to set up as of course required setup to make sure that uh, device A send the message to device B and there will be no any other man in the middle or so on. This was a unique costing. Yeah. The last but not least is any costing. What do you think guys? IP version 6. Precisely. Some of you are already familiar about the IP version 6. Uh, if you're familiar about the IP version 6, IP version 6 does come with the any casting. It is mostly any casting. It is mostly we are using and and then routing uh, configuration of routing from one source to another source from one port to another port from one uh, point to another point. But overall, the concept of any costing is one to one to nearest. So in here, if you look at the diagram in here, computer A want to send a message to computer B. In here, router one, for example, router A, it does not send a message to router C, but it is connecting, but sends router A using any costing in here, router A send the message to router B, router B send a message, send the message to router, router B send the message to router D, router D, and after that C and F, and after that computer B will receive a message router a eliminate to send the message direct to router c because of any costing one to nearest probably router c was not near that is why router a pick router b instead of router c so the overall concept of any costing is to one to nearest let's conclude and recap broadcasting overall as multicasting is one to many but not all unique costing is one to one any costing is one to nearest. Okay, I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, uh, don't forget to share this information with your family, with your colleagues, with those who pursue and chasing information communication technology. The last but not least is that the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe my channel. And um, until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, See you next time.